So this video is on mindfulness in the context of communication and other people. So there are two parts to this that I want to open up. One part is awareness of yourself in relationship to other people and the other part is awareness of other people listening. I want to start with awareness of oneself. <coughs> So part of uh, this is when you meet people, there is an opportunity to get a sense of how you are and how you are particularly with certain people or in certain situations. So again, mindfulness of your body can give you clues. Are you sort of having a, a sense of uh, holding back, being defensive, uh, self-deprecating stance, are you pushy, uh, aggressive in the way that you're uh, relating to people? Uh, is your speech, for example, giving you an expression of uh, what is under, underlying the way that you are communicating? Is it quite even? Is it sharp? Is it too soft? And then you start to get a sense of how you are in relationship to that person or those people. You start to get a sense of your general demeanour, your general stance, your general relationship. And that conscious awareness can have quite a big effect because it might not have been chosen. It might just be automatic. It might have just be a habit that you've got of being with people in a certain way. But the awareness that comes gives you choice. Are you going to be like that? And then there's that more reflective sense of the way you are. And you might decide, oh, that's fine. No, I'm fine. It's fine like that. I'm quite happy with that. Or, well, I, you know, I do tend to be a bit prickly or a bit sharp or a bit defensive, a bit opaque and closed, a bit distant, I could change that, I could open up a bit, or I could become a bit more friendly. So there's choice arising out of awareness. So the other side of the mindfulness of others is actually listening and taking in and being aware. And part of this mindfulness is noticing when you just always have your own ideas going on while they're talking and you're not actually listening to what they're saying. Now this is an important part of mindfulness is to actually notice, do you listen? Do you take in? Or are you always in your own world rather than listening to what the other person has to say? So if you notice, well, you're fine. You know, you are listening, you are open, you do take in, you do reflect on what the other person says, fine. But if you're always making comment and you're always in, ready to make your own comment, you've never really listened to what they've said, then that gives you pause for reflection. And on the basis of that, you can choose to be more observant, more attentive, and to listen more to the other person to take them in. Not just their words, actually, but also their general posture, their general demeanour when they're with you. You might notice that, uh, first of all, they're a bit nervous around you. Well, why is that? And then you notice you're being a bit sharp, for example. So that, again, uh, gives you an opportunity to reflect on how you are and how you relate to people. So mindfulness is of people or in the context of being and communicating with people is partially about noticing how oneself is in relationship to others, but also about taking in and listening and being with them as they communicate. 